Welcome to Excellence in Excel and in this video you will learn how you can use a more advanced and dynamic way of the MID function. So you've learned the MID function and the MID function is wonderful. However, if you want to trim something that is static, that's fine. But in most situations you will experience that the, the thing that you need to trim will consistently change. And because of that you need a more dynamic way. So let me explain here exactly the situation. So for example here, we are trimming here the value blue. So that's what we want. However, this is right now dynamic. And the reason what I mean dynamic is very simple. If I change here a word, let's say here red and blue, you can see now the starting value automatically calculates and our value here does not change. And if we say here, Instead of blue, I want you now to analyze where is red. You can see everything adjusts properly and here the value is exactly what we want. So that's what we're going to do right now. In our situation here, we're going to do again red. And when we do red, we have to do two functions because you can see here our mid function. Let me explain to you here. We have our mid function. We have the text. You say here, all right, if it's red, this is number five and it's length of three. And what happen if we say here red and red and green of uh, blue and red, and then you can see it starts to lose its shape, of course, because we need to make it dynamic. So, here, what we have to do here, we use the length tool or the length function, and this shortcut for that is the length. Is and then we say open parentheses and what's the word we're trying to analyze and that's this one. So it will understand that the word is only three letters and if we make this blue it will understand it is four letters. So the next part is what we call the search function and the search function will search where the word starts. So what's the first, what's the character it will first analyze to understand where it starts. So if it's blue, it will understand this is the first character should be number one. So let's try that. If we type in search, then it's all right. First question is what's the text we want? Well, we want this text to search. Yes. Where do we want to find that text? Well, we want to find it in this color box here or in this box. Enter. Once we did that, you can see now we have our starting values one. So let's see if that's really true. If we put in red. You can see if it's red, it is number 8. So that starts to work. So let's start and change this as well then. So how do we do this? Well, very simple. This was our length. So let's open the formula builder so you will understand better. So the starting number is the start. That should be this. And the number of characters should be this. Enter. So once we're done, close this, this works. So if we do now green, you will see now it works fine as well. And if we would even adjust this, let's say we want to do here now purple. And we say, well, we have to change the things. It's now purple. Instantly everything moves around and everything works along. Very, very useful tool if you want to be more and more dynamic. And then so you only have like a dashboard where you can maybe search for specific colors that are being sold and you see all the numbers instantly. Or you want to see who's your best selling agent, you can type in the name and instantly you see, or the best selling product, you type in one of the products, you will instantly see the product sales for a specific month. So everything like that, you can play around with it, it makes it really interesting. So let's do this, these two as well, and then we're done. So all right, what's the color here? In this case, I want to take gray, and this one will be green. So we do again, we say equal for length, get this, enter. And now here we will say search. And what is a search text? Well, that's gray. That's nice. And then where do we find the text? In this section here, enter. So let's do mid. And our mid again. What's the text? That's this. What's the starting number? That is this. And what is the length of the word? That's this one. There you are. One more time, final one. So where's the length? That's this one. And the starting point, what is the starting point? Let's search for our starting point. And we want to find this word, the, the word green, in this section here. You can see it's 5, 5. And put in mid, 
Then we say this is the text we want to analyze, and then we want to start at number five, and the length of the word is five characters as well. And there you are. So let's change this a bit. Uh, let's make this huge. You can see now it instantly jumps and no problem as well. Everything works properly. And if you would say here, green, yellow, or green, yellow, even it will start to analyze everything as well. Perfect. So this is how you can use a more advanced mid function to trim around specific words to be more dynamic searching for, for the values dynamically. So if you have questions regarding to this, post them in the comment section. And if you like what you see, check out my course on Udemy. It is a free course about Excel to improve your Excel skills. And just click on the link, it's free if you click it through my link.